Good morning vlog! Today we are filming our annual anniversary video. If you guys don't know, every year for our anniversary I post a video on my Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. That's like how we celebrated our blah 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 anniversary. And I've been doing it ever since seven years. So we did seven, eight, nine, and then this year's 10. And Ooh. yeah, usually everything is all in one day. But ever since we got Ollie, it's hard to do everything in one day because he's he has like a routine and he's on a very strict schedule. He's a needy cat. Yeah, he's very needy. So ever since we got Ollie, we kind of break it up into different days. But in the video, it'll all seem like it's on the same day. So you guys have the inside scoop you guys know the truth <laughs> but anyway today the part of the anniversary video that we're doing is we're going rug tufting for the Ooh. first time i've been seeing this a lot on social media in the past year and i've always wanted to try it so i figured this is the perfect opportunity yeah. to let's do it i'm excited wait do you want to huh? show them the some of the options that we're thinking oh yeah some of the options we have this, this cat one look like tony maybe kirby kirby i thought that one was cute too Snoopy. Snoopy, that's cute. Oh, more cat stuff. More cat stuff. Another Snoopy. Snoopy. An, An egg. egg. This one's cute. A monstera leaf. Also monstera cute. leaf. Big, Big bird. bird. That would be for me. This red panda. Red one's panda like Mei Mei. Ooh, oh, Pikachu. 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 Let's go tufting. Let's go. <laughs> Keeping mine really simple because I'm scared that I won't be good at it because when I was practicing I was so nervous so I'm doing a simple design just this little egg bird is the ambitious one <laughs> good luck <laughs> this is what the back of mine looks like right now so far so good but I'm worried about doing the circle for the yolk yeah we'll see <laughs> because there's a gongsha in the same plaza as the tufting place and I'm pretty much done. I'm not too stressed about my egg, but bird is a little stressed. So here's a little pick-me-up. We got some boba. I got a pearl milk tea and I got bird a brown sugar milk tea with boba. Yum. Mm. Just having a little boba break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a mine, big bird. Yeah, it's coming together. Nice. Are you getting the hang of it? I think so. Yeah. I kind of messed up here. So I don't know if you can really tell on the back. I just need an aftershave here, pink here, and everything else is yellow. Yeah. Nice. This is what mine looks like. Cute. Pretty simple. Bird is still working on his, but mine is ready to be shaven. Basically, you need to shave it to level it out so it's all the same length. And I'm very excited for this. <laughs> Okay, I didn't really get a chance to vlog the end because we're in a rush. We are literally late for a dinner reservation for my sister's birthday, but we're gonna show you guys really quick that this is the final result. Bird's big bird and my egg. And we're quite happy with it. It was very fun, but I'll talk to you guys more about it later. We have to go and go into Heidi Lao. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello vlog, we are back home from dinner and dinner was very yummy. We even went to meat fresh after which Bird is very happy about because he wants to eat meat fresh every day. But yes, the tufting, we really, really enjoyed it. It was like really fun. At first I was so nervous intimidated. yeah, and intimidated because, well, I don't know, going into it, I didn't think it was gonna be hard. But then once they were like teaching us how to do it, I was like, this seems hard but you get the hang of it. Did you have fun? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, this time I chose like a really simple design because I was so intimidated, but next time I think I can try something harder. I think I probably chose a good level difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, probably a it took you difficult. way longer than me. Like I was done an hour, at least an hour before you. Yeah, well, cause Big Bird has like a bunch of curves and stuff. Yeah, 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 so it was so difficult. Sad. Yeah, would recommend Tufting. I will link the place in the description box if you guys are interested. And now we're home and we are about to build Lego. Bird, show them. Dragon. Nice. We haven't built a Lego set together in a while. A really long time. Yeah, we used to do it all the time, but then I got more strict with letting Bird buy Lego because we don't have that much space in our house, Bird. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so yeah, we haven't been buying as many Lego sets as usual. But yeah, this is for our anniversary. Every anniversary, we build a Lego set together, so. Dragon. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna build. Good morning vlog! It is the next day. Last night we built Lego. We built about half of it, right? Yeah! We got through five bags out of ten, I think. So I think we're gonna do the rest tonight. Is that right? Correct. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we are about to head in to a place we're going for lunch. This is also gonna be part of the anniversary video. We are going to Egghead Sando Cafe. And this place I featured on my Cheap Eats video on the main channel. So go watch that if you haven't. But yeah, we're gonna go and eat some food and then maybe get some boba after. Yeah! Oh my god, we're in <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go inside. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do after that. All right, we got the chick, which is like this chicken cutlet thing. It's kind of similar to like a Taiwanese seasoning, I think. Like kind of popcorn chicken like, but a big piece of popcorn chicken. <laughs> it also has an egg in there and some arugula, some sauce. We also got this, which they call the eggy. And it's actually like a potato puree on the bottom. And then it has very jiggly egg on top, as well as like bacon and chives and stuff. And so you dip the baguette in here. Ready to eat? <laughs> All right, we ate because we're filming the short form video, but this is the chick on the inside. Super juicy, has all that arugula, has an egg as well. Really good. Mm. Mm. I really like the Taiwanese spices. Like it literally reminds me of popcorn chicken. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, nice. <laughs> and then this is the eggy, so it has these little baguettes and then so you just dip it into the kind of potato puree with the egg, bacon, and chives and you eat it like this. Mm. Mm. Juicy, <laughs> but really good. It kind of tastes like breakfast mashed potatoes. Mm, I can see that. Does that sound like appealing? It is good. <laughs> it's good. I feel like the name it doesn't sound that appealing, but it tastes good. Hello! <laughs> we are in line for Chu Cha San Qian. And the line, let me just show you guys the line. So this is a star, and this is the line. Look at the line. Wow. And there's probably more line inside. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think sometimes they do online orders, but right now they're not taking any online orders because it's so crowded. But yeah, Bird has actually never, no, you tried Chu Cha once in SoCal, but it's been many, many years since that time. I don't remember and I will never tell you. Oh. <laughs> but I had it when we went to Seattle last year and it was good. So we'll see if the one in Cupertino is good. Honestly, I've been avoiding coming here because I know the line's been super super long but even though it's long right now i feel like it's not as bad as before so we'll see if it's good
Okay, we just placed our order at Chicha San Chin and there was a sign that said after you place your order, you still have to wait 45 to 60 minutes for your drink. We didn't believe it. We didn't believe it, but then we saw the order numbers on the screen and they were at like high 300s, low 400s and our order number is 461. So yeah, I think it really will be that long. So now we're at Home Goods and we're just shopping. Well, not really shopping, just browsing. Office trivia game. Ooh, that looks fun. I bet I could beat you. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I watched if the Office. If I bought this, it, would you play it? I'd play it with you. Yeah, and I, you would always lose. No, I've seen The Office more than you. And I also have better memory than you. He <laughs> just ignored me. <laughs> Are you making music on this kid's toy? Ay, ay, ay. You're having way too much fun with this kid's toy. We Bag got secured. it! Bag secured. Let's try it. I'm excited. All right, so we have our drinks. Bird show yours. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> they give it in this little handle thingy. They did this in the Seattle one too, so it's very convenient and cute. We got two drinks to share. So we got the bubble milk tea, this one, and the one the bird's holding is the Dongbing Oolong milk tea, and we added boba to it as well. But we're going to share... Them or can we wanted to try them because they were both on their popular list. I forget exactly which one I tried in Seattle. Yeah, I don't remember, but I remember liking it. Let's stir the boba. Cheers. Hmm, not bad. It's cool. I'm gonna try it. I feel like the boba texture is pretty good in mine. I think that one could be sweeter. Mm. Is mm. yours sweet? It's sweet. I'm gonna try this. Hmm. This could be sweeter. Yeah, I actually think the boba texture is pretty good. I feel like the milk teas, they do have a strong tea flavor, but it kind of hits you later. Like, mm. it's not like on your first immediate, like, sip. And as it, soon as it touches your tongue, you're like, whoa. It's kind of like you sip it, you chew the boba, you it, taste, like, fragrance yeah. of the tea. It's kind of more of a subtle aftertaste almost. I like the Dong Ding Oolong milk tea better. The flavor of the tea is stronger, and it lingers kind of, like, on your tongue. Mm. Yeah. I like this one much more. I'm trying to remember what I got in Seattle, but I don't remember. I remember liking it though. So mm. whatever I got in Seattle was better than, than the bubble milk tea. But the Dong Ding, I think, is on par. Mm. I think it's good as a drink. I just don't know if it's worth waiting that long. Yeah. Like, I feel like you could probably get something pretty comparable, if not better, at different places that are not waiting that right. long. Right. We got here around 3 o'clock. And right now it's four. Mm -hmm. Wait, did we get here around right three? No, we placed our order around three. We yeah. got here at 2 30. Yeah. It was a long wait. Like, I wouldn't drive all the way to Cupertino, wait in yeah. an hour and a half, like, line plus waiting for the drink. People keep calling this Michelin Star Boba because it has this certain award that is, like, equivalent to mm. Michelin. That's what people were saying. It's like the T equivalent to being a Michelin star, I guess. Mm. But I don't know. Yeah, I think it's good. I wouldn't wait, you know, an hour and a half for it. I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, I'm glad you tried it too. Yeah, would I try it again? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's good if it's a shorter line. Like, I think another reason I liked it more in Seattle too is because there was no wait mm. when I went. I went on a weekday though, mm. so that's probably why. But it's kind of fun though. Yeah, the little handle thing is cute. Very convenient. Anyway, we go home now and we're gonna build Lego. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, we are home. We are building Lego. This is the progress of the dragon. 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 And look, we're building the body. I built a bunch of this, so it's Bird's turn. <laughs> we always take turns. And then we're also watching American Born Chinese, which is a very good show. Sad that it didn't get renewed for season two, though. Messed up, man. <laughs> I will update you guys when we're done with the Lego. All right, our dragon is finished. It looks so cool. Yeah, it looks real cool. Give a dragon tour. You're holding an orb. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Wow, look at the fingers. The talons. Are they called talons? What are Peace they called? Sign. Oh. What are they called? Talons. Just, oh, talons. Okay, yeah. Whiskers. Look at his nostrils. And then the, the mouth, too. His eyes. Wow, that's cool. Cool hair, too. Really cool. And all the spikes on the back and the scales. And this says something in Chinese. Oh, I cannot something. read a single one of those words. <laughs> Wait, actually, is this long? Yeah, long. Something long. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, huh? His tail can move a little bit. Wow, show it swimming. I think those are clouds. Okay, show it flying. 
Is it clouds or waves? You can't tell. I think it's like clouds and this is a mountain top. Oh, like it's a very tall mountain. Yeah. So the mountain's peeking over the clouds yeah. a little bit. I think that's the, the vibe. I see. Nice. Cool one. Long. Long. Long means dragon. It's the year of the dragon. Nice. Wow. Perfect. Wow. Very cool one. That's a cool one. <laughs> nice. That's a good display piece. <laughs> this one I like. And then this one is also a cool display piece. So. Yes. We have a very Stacked one. growing Lego collection. And it went stuff soon. Bird. <laughs> Easier to move this stuff out. We move your stuff out and then we clear up more space for me. Bird! <laughs> Also, I wanted to mention that a few days ago, we went on a very nice anniversary dinner and I vlogged that whole thing. So I'm gonna input the clips here. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello vlog. We are about to take the Caltrain to SF and we are going to do a special omakase and it's on a yacht. Wow. Very fancy. Big time. <laughs> it's for our 10 year anniversary. So I'm very excited. I'm also hungry, so. We're gonna eat some good food. Let's go. We are on the yacht. Look at it. It's so cool. That's Chef Daiji. <laughs> He's serving us tonight and we're very excited. It's supposed to be 14 courses and we have the whole yacht to ourselves. Look how pretty it is. Living in luxury. I know. I know. Every time we eat sushi, usually we just go to Suruki supermarket. So this is a very special <laughs> elevated experience to that. Yay. We're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to eat. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ooh, wow. Both of them are good. Oh, they're so good. And you get a little flavor of the lemon too, which you love. I do love lemon. I need to try the pickle. Mmm. Ooh, that's a good pickle. Fun. Fun, Fun to, to eat. eat. <laughs> Our first piece of nigiri, it's bluefin tuna. I love bluefin tuna. And it's the lean one, which I also love. So excited. Okay, we're gonna do it the true omakase way. What's the proper way to mm -hmm. eat it with your fingers? Like this. Oh, like uh, this. Middle finger uh -huh. and your thumb. Uh -huh. And just grab on, grab the side. Right, okay. Yeah. Grab the side. Uh -huh. And uh, make sure that the fish side is tongue down, is uh, facing yeah, on yeah, the tongue, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, got it. Yeah. So the it's fish. upside down, mm -hmm. like, uh, like mm -hmm. that. Yep. No, the fish no. is on your oh, tongue. Oh, I see, I see. The best way actually is to actually flip it 90 degrees. Oh, like this? And grab it like that. Like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And that way, the, the fish side comes down. Oh. Easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I don't know why, but I love the lean one. Almost more than the fatty. Yeah, that one's good. I like that too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know, because I feel like everyone loves fatty the most, yeah. but I think I like lean the most. Knowing that I hate ginger, do you think I'll hate the pickle ginger? No. I'm scared. Let's try a little bit. Actually, oh god, I saw the strands. I don't think I can do it. No, okay. just try it. Oh, okay, as this tiny, tiny piece. Cheers. I'm so scared. Oh! Bird, how could you let me do that? <laughs> Wasn't You're playing a bad prank on me today. You didn't like it? You're playing a bad prank on me today. Just hopping on voiceover to mention that I will link Chef Daiji's information in the description box, so definitely go check it out. It was so fun and interesting to watch him prepare each piece. Each bite was so delicious and unique, and the yacht was the perfect private, intimate setting for us to celebrate such a milestone anniversary. Me and Bird really enjoyed our experience, so definitely recommend. Sorry for this bad angle to the vlog because I'm also recording for short form. 
See? <laughs> I should have actually brought another arc tripod. It's okay. Rookie mistake. <laughs> we have a little bit of a better angle now because Chef Daiji had a little tripod stand thingy <laughs> that we could use. Yellowtail. Oh, I'm excited. I love yellowtail. Cheers. Mmm. 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 That one was so good. Mm. Wow. This one was a hit. It was so yeah, good. This one's good. It was actually so good. Oh my gosh. I really like that one. Like combination of There's flavors. There's a lot of layers yeah. of flavors really in good. that one. Like first, it's like salty. There's yeah. salt on the top, right? And also the chives. Right. Adds like a brightness. And then the torchness on yeah. top too. Like that seared kind of flavor. I'm not as descriptive as you, but it tastes good. <laughs> It was so good. Wow. Yeah, that was good. It was like layers and layers of flavor. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. the shiso leaf is so like. That's what I was gonna say. Intense. I love shiso leaf. <laughs> shiso leaf is really good. Yeah. I feel like it's underrated. The scallop. That's good scallop. The scallop is so soft. It melts in your mouth. It's so soft and buttery. So this one, there's an explosive Ooh. shrimp head flavor. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. Whoa. That's like the best shrimp nigiri I've ever had. Don't you think? Very explosive. A very explosive. <laughs> extremely explosive flavor. And there's an aftertaste of the, the shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'm usually not like a shrimp guy either. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even super into the into shrimp nigiri either, but that was so yeah, good. Like I, mean, I could eat like ten of those. <laughs> mm. 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 Whoa. Mmm. The fish is so soft and tender. Anytime it's torch. The smokiness. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. smokiness. I love it. So good. And then the brightness from the chiso too. Ooh, I'm so excited. Chew total. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. 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 Wow. That one melts in your mouth. It completely melts. It's like, I can't even believe that's medium fatty. <laughs> it's so melt in your mouth. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks good. It's like a mix. Yeah, mix oh. with a little shiso inside. Ooh, Amazing. the shiso. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Fun to eat. It is fun to eat. Mm. Mm. Bird started mm. eating already. Oh, sorry. But we have homemade yuzu mascarpone ice cream. Mm. Mm. Wow. Very acidic and lemony. Yuzui brightens up the palate, mm -hmm. and you really get that creaminess of the mascarpone. Like mm -hmm. it, it almost tastes like a cheesecake. A yeah, like a yuzu cheesecake. Yum. Ooh. All right, that's it for this vlog. If you made it this far, comment below. Cool Lego dragon. Cool Lego dragon, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.